Welcome back to Daily Devos. We're in chapter four of Colossians. Come on, y'all. We made it all the way through. This is going to be great. Paul wraps it up in a very simple but beautiful way. And I want to show you that today and encourage you with what Paul's encouraging us with today. So Paul says in chapter four, uh, verse two, he says this. He says, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Wow. One sentence can revolutionize your life. Devote yourselves to prayer with an, with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Isn't that good? Paul is saying just to simply devote yourselves to prayer. What does that mean? Do you know it just simply means this? Devote yourself to talking to God. Devote yourself to a conversation with God. Devote yourself to relationship with God. Do you know to have a relationship with somebody, there must be an exchange of words. There must be a conversation. Otherwise, you're just two people sitting in a room or in a world that look at each other and nothing really happens. You can't relate without talking and listening. Isn't that good? I had a thought earlier this week. I actually posted something on Facebook. I don't do that very often, but I was I was studying something about praying and praying myself. And I realized that in order to be good at standing or walking with men, I need to first be good at sitting with God. And so the better I get at with sitting with God, the better I walk among men. And I had this thought as I was reading this today, because in verse five, Paul says this. I'm going to share the thought with you in just a second. He says, live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be gracious and attractive so you will have the right response for everyone. Do you realize that you talk the way you talk, mostly in part because of the environment that you grew up in. Some of you are rough. Some of you are pretty mild mannered. Some of you are very, very um, tender hearted and very tender with your conversations. And it has a lot to do with the environment or the family or the people that you grew up with and the people that you interacted with. So I had this thought, if you want to be wise with unbelievers and your speech to be good with everyone, how do you do that? Could it be as simple as if I'll get good at talking with God, I'll be very good at talking with man? Do you see the power of the relationship? Do you see how if I get good at spending time with God, like that'll be my first priority. If that'll be my devotion, I'll be good in all the other areas of my life. Because I can't help but believe that if the more I talk to God, the more my, my conversation and my words are going to change. You see, when you hang out with God, he influences you. When you study and read his Bible, it influences you in a good way. In fact, I'll tell you in the best way. And so simply put, Paul is encouraging the believers at the end of this letter to pray. In fact, not just pray occasionally, but to devote, to make a devotion to prayer. A devotion is a, is I'm giving myself to this. This is so important that I'm giving myself to this before I give myself to anything else. I'm devoting myself to prayer. Isn't that good? So can we do that today? Can it really just be that simple? One of my latest favorite worship songs is talking to Jesus. It's by Elevation Worship. They did a collaboration with a bunch of other people. And and it's just, it, it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of how I grew up. I grew up watching my grandmother devotedly. Just, she devoted herself to talking to Jesus. 
I, I remember walking by her bedroom either at night or, or early in the mornings and seeing her sitting on the edge of her bed. And that was her posture. She would sit on the edge of her bed before she would go to bed or before she'd put her feet on the floor and she would talk to Jesus. And, and it was such a great influence in my life. I'll admit I've had my struggles over the years praying, but I'll tell you today, I'm better than I've ever been. And I'm understanding the, the, the power and the impactfulness of praying. I told somebody the other day that I, I'd been praying for some friends of mine they're, they're walking through some difficult times and I was just praying and believing God for to help them, just to move and interact and intercede for them. And, and, and what's funny is, is what I'd seen them struggling in for months and months and months. The minute I started praying, I saw God work within a week or two, or just right off the bat. God just began to change things and do things in their life. And I think sometimes we forget how important and how impactful and how well prayer works. And so today I wanna to encourage you, just get good at talking to Jesus. Is that all right? Just get good at talking to Jesus and you never have a problem talking to anybody else. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for the book of Colossians and all the great fruit that comes out of this book. And Lord, we've only scratched the surface. It's so much deeper and there's so many things more that you wanna to reveal to us. So I pray that as we dig in and we study and we rip apart and we digest and we chew on Colossians, that God, you'll just begin to reveal more and more to us. And Lord, thank you that you've given us the ability and the privilege of talking to you. And God, it should be something that we never take for granted, that we get to talk to you and you love to talk to us. Thank you for that. Help us to be good at talking to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love you. I've enjoyed this whole book of Colossians with you. I pray your week is blessed. I love you. I praise God for you. Have a great day.